police in, in Ontario don't have with the community right now. They don't have any cooperation. And it's almost, it's almost like a crime for the community to cooperate with the police. Which I think is a calling. crime that that attitude would exist. Exactly. So what do you do about it? Uh, you got to build that relationship. The media is kind of, they kind of act like bloodsuckers in a way if you think about it. Okay. I just hope that a lot of the audience out there will open their mind and realize that everything is not as it seems on TV. And if you really want to come to our area and experience what it, what it really is to be in Jane and Finch, I'm pretty sure you'll be surprised at what you see. That's center. Thank you. Uh, so I stayed up kind of late to cut that together for you guys. And I'm not good in front of crowds. That's why the video is kind of long. I wanted the video to do most of the work for me, so I'm just going to hand it over to Mark. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I basically said a lot in that video. I never knew you were going to cut it like that. <laughs> um, yeah, basically with the website, we're just trying to, you know, get people to, to come out and, and do show their, their work on the website. I mean, it's there for, for them, you know what I mean? And that's what we're trying to, to get, get past in our community. A lot of people still don't even realize that yet, that the website is there for them to use. I mean, um, we've had a, a person on the website recently that um, she's a spoken word artist. And she, we did a small little video for her. We didn't really intend anything to come out of it. But within two days, uh, Toronto, Toronto Star, Toronto Star contacted her and she got a, a huge front page article on the entertainment section. So, I mean, it created an opportunity for her and now she can take that and do something with it. So, uh, actually, Paul's gonna show you right now what I was just talking about. So, I mean, that's what the website is there for, is to create opportunities. We have a lot of people from different countries um, looking at the website as well. Um, we have people in Australia sometimes that call for, uh, uh, help with their homework, <laughs> believe it or not. So I, I think a lot of people from, from around the world, they, they can relate with what the website is about. And you know, there's a saying, they say, uh, real recognizes real. And I think that's what we're trying to do with the website, promote the realness of the area. So that means showing the negative and the positive side of the neighborhood, and not just the positive side, because you know, no one's not gonna really pay attention if you do that, right? So uh, one more little thing to add, that the uh, website, it's not funded. Inspires the people that are here today. Uh, we've got a small token of appreciation that we'd like to share with you. And uh, on behalf of uh, everyone here today, thanks very much. Thank <laughs> you.